Hello everybody, today we are going to be learning about how to pick, clean, and cook with wine berries. Now wine berry is a species of a bramble, it's a berry bush, it tastes sweet and tart at the same time with a strong raspberry flavor. Wine berry tree is actually not a native uh, tree to the US. It's actually native to the Asian area such as China, Japan, and Korea. It's a perennial shrub that blooms in the spring and summer. Now quick side story, when we bought the property we thought this, uh, this bush was actually poisonous. But uh, soon to come find out, it's actually a great fruit bearing bush. Now when you're picking these berries, the darker the better. If you pick it when it's light orange or medium to orange, then it's gonna be more tart. But as you can see here on the close up, the redder, the better. The berries themselves are very waxy. As you can see here, my hands are very oily with wax. Now we have the three stages of red. We have light, medium, and dark. Darker the better, but I like to pick them when they're light or to medium range, because if you don't pick them, then the birds will. The best way to clean any berries is to rinse and soak in cold water with a splash of vinegar. Now don't let them sit more than three to five minutes because the vinegar will soak through the berries and then the berries will become bitter. Now we clean them like this because we don't want any spider mites living in them. Spider mites are very common in berries. Now you can freeze them and pack them away, but today we're gonna be using these berries to make jam. All right, so after you properly wash them and clean them, you can either freeze them like I did here, or you can make jam with them, like what we're gonna do today. So I picked these fresh about five minutes ago. Okay, we mix some blueberries in there as well. Okay, this is about two cups worth of wine berries. Now, give or take our recipe, uh, we might just need one cup. We're gonna be using two cups today. All right, stick with it. Set the cup to zero. And then we're gonna pour our wine. So here are the ones that I just picked fresh five minutes ago. Okay. Okay. Oh, I broke. Two hundred forty-four milliliters of wine berries. This is about two cups. Okay, we're gonna take our wine berries. We're gonna put it in a pot. Then we're gonna probably do about a cup, a cup and a half of sugar, give or take. Okay, we have our sugar. We're gonna pour it right on top of the berries. Now we're gonna start with, this is about a cup and a quarter. Now the most important part of this recipe is adding lemon. The lemon will act as a citrus to preserve the raspberry jam over long periods of time, okay? Now I don't have fresh lemon, so we're gonna use lemon juice, okay? Now you can give or take how much you want of this. I'm gonna probably do two tablespoons of this. All right, I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, that was probably three, but look at that. Now what's important is you don't wanna burn the raspberries, we're just gonna be stirring the sugar and the berries. After about five, 10 minutes of stirring, low heat, um, you could pick how consistent you want it to be, if you want it to be thick or thin. Um, I kinda like it on the thin side, so we're gonna
All right, so we just turned up the heat. As you can see, it's boiling. And we want all that excess water. See how, how runny it is? We want all that excess water from the berries to evaporate. And you want all that sugar to be absorbed. You want to almost caramelize it. So we turn up the heat, we're gonna do some stirring. And as you can see, the color actually got a lot darker. Oh yeah, it's starting to thicken up now. Best way to see if you did it right is take a spoon, scoop it, and then you're gonna put it in the fridge and let it sit. All right, so we just took it out. It's been in there for about two to three minutes and it's starting to jellify. So let's take a t uh, taste test. Oh, that's so good. A little on the liquid side, so we're gonna, we're gonna let it sit. That's really good. <laughs> so a little on the liquid side, so we're gonna set it on the medium. Set it on the medium. Let it sit for another maybe five minutes. Let's see how it looks. All right. So all in total, it took about maybe eight to ten minutes on medium high heat. Kept stirring it, and as you can tell, it was up to here with the when it started boiling. Now it reduced down. Sorry, I just had another taste. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> all right. So we just turn off the heat. We're gonna slowly stir, okay? Let it cool a little bit, but don't let it solidify, okay? We wanna let it cool, so when we put it in our uh, jars, then we can put them in the fridge. All right, so I know you guys are gonna comment below, why don't you try it? So I made a PB&J with our homemade uh, jam and our homemade uh, honey peanut butter that I will be making a video soon about. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> now it is jam, so you are gonna get the um, the seeds. Oh. A little on the tart side because we didn't use enough sugar. I made a mess. Oh, but that's good. Mm hmm. That's real good. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching and learning about the wineberry tree. I'll catch you guys in the next video.